Here's our resident film critic, Ken Corder, with his insider's view of In Her Shoes. Good night. My name's Ken Corder. I was the lady expert on In Her Shoes. Uh, I was working on Loose Women, ITV's feminist gossip show, a few years ago, when I got a call from Curtis Hansen, who said to me, Kenny, I need your advice. I'm doing this picture about two sisters who couldn't be more different. Tony Collette is the sensible, successful, but dowdy one, and Cameron Diaz is the irresponsible, silly, but sexy one. In some ways, each of them yearns to be in each other's shoes. But how do I illustrate that? So I said, OK. Tony Collette should have loads of wonderful pairs of shoes which Cameron Diaz can't resist wearing. So you see, she's literally in her shoes. You know, you don't even wear most of these. So it's all about the shoes, you see? She chooses her shoeses. She chooses the shoes. She chooses. I suggested that she should actually chew the shoes, yeah? But, uh... Curtis vetoed that one. Anyway, so Cameron Diaz is running around making Tony Collette's life a total misery by being all irresponsible and sexy, and so Tony snaps and throws her out of the flat. And it's at that point that... <laughs> Sorry. It's at that point that we meet uh, Shirley MacLaine's character, and she plays the grandmother that they never knew they had, you see? And her and all her old, wise, funny friends take Cameron Diaz under their old wings and teach her all sorts of wonderful things about life, including, in one very moving scene, how to read. <laughs> she reads to me. Oh. Here. Yeah. I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> oh, sorry. I get very annoyed when people describe this film as a chick flick, you know? I find that very demeaning. This film's for everybody, not just slightly drunk, lonely women who don't go to the cinema very often and don't want to see anything too taxing. It's a film about life. It's a film about love. It's a film about us. It's a film about shoes. It's a film about dresses. It's a film about old people and how cute and funny and wise they are, yeah? And if you, if you call that kind of thing a chick flick, then fine, guilty as charged. Your Honour.